pretty much put everything back um, that I can for now. I've, uh, I've decided to actually paint, and uh, this should be all done. Yeah, paint the uh, the speakers. So uh, use some uh, some paper here, just masking paper, just to mask off the uh, the back here. But yeah, uh, just because um, I saw it probably would need to be protected because I did set it down. There was some rust, so I just applied uh, two coats of just black protector paint, uh, rust paint, and uh, one coat of varnish. And uh, I'm gonna put it back, but um, just to go back to pinball here, uh, all these guys, all this section here, there's not much more I can do other than the by putting back the speaker and the harness, um, because all the other fittings have actually stuff on the outside. Um, so I need to start putting the decals on. Um, so I've, what I've done here, because I'm not sure exactly how the edges are gonna Add up like so I'm just painting the corners uh, with the blue um, as you can see I had some left over but it'll, uh, it'll provide a, a sticky primer anyway and uh, here as well and uh, over there as well so that way all the corners or at least these corners which would be the most visible uh, ones the legs are gonna come here but there's still gonna be something visible here uh, at least there'll be some blue there so I'm gonna wait overnight for this to dry and tomorrow um, I'd be able to start applying the uh, the artwork, but the sides are looking uh, are looking good. The inside as well, and uh, yeah, very very happy with the uh, the way this uh, uh, wood restoration uh, came out. So let's finish this, and uh, and then I'll be able to move on to the play field, which is over there. But I need to put this away as well. So I skipped a few steps here, well not really, but I kept going putting the, uh, the cab back together and uh, right now I'm just doing the final bit here, I'm uh, de-rusting the door, it's really badly rusted, uh, surface rust, but the, the artwork was, or the, the paint sorry, was just peeling off, flaking off pretty bad, um, still some areas here that's proving a bit hard to uh, remove, but I'm um, just using the wire wheel for that for now. And uh, even with paint remover, I can't seem to get them to uh, attach. I might do a last run now that it's uh, a bit thinner. Maybe that'll work. Um, here it's pretty much gone. Uh, there's some traces here still of paint. So I might, yeah, actually I'll do a, another run. And then I'll just, uh, I got some rust remover as well. So I'll just do a, a treat it with that. Uh, sand it down well just wire wheel it uh, just to uh, uh, to get everything nice and clean and uh, I'll be able to start respraying I'm gonna put a primer and then a few layers of black uh, yeah with a, a day of drying in between each coat so that way the, the previous coat is ni nice on, on it uh, I might see if I can get the texture back using a you can use a sponge or a, a cloth or something like that just to get a bit of texture uh, I'll put a one one layer and maybe maybe start doing that on the second layer. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I have pretty much everything here reconnected. Um, all the uh, metals, all the the front here uh, is all here. Uh, it's all nice and and clean. Uh, there's no more rust. Uh, this fella and uh, and then these guys as well where they the head pivots um, so happy days uh, funny enough uh, one of these screws broke um, it should be one of these it's not screws they're just uh, and I don't have any of these and uh, to be honest I could order them but I'm not paying you know shipping and all that just for one bit so what I did is I used just a, a screw that I sanded down and I might need to sand it again just put it, put it. I put it in a, in my um, drill, and then uh, just run it, run it over a few uh, different grids of uh, sandpaper. But it, but all in all, uh, we're getting to the end of this uh, this uh, body restoration. I got everything connected back. Uh, I'm glad I took all the photos, so that way I, I knew where everything was. It's nice and clean. So now the last bit is this uh, this door. So that's what I'll be doing this weekend. 
There's a, an update on the legs. So this is the leg that I, I cleaned up a while back. Let me get outside, see if I can get a better shot. But as you can see, it's just really hard to sand properly and, uh, and clean up and the rust is coming back in places. So I'm gonna bring this to a, to a, a powder coating uh, place. Uh, I think I need to uh, forget the idea of keeping them uh, stainless like that. So uh, they will sandblast it, kind of like um, what I got done for the the cocktail table. They'll sandblast it, um, get all the rust out, and then uh, powder coat it. And I'm gonna go with a, a, a black powder coat. I've seen photos of uh, a few uh, white waters actually with black legs, so that'll work out. Uh, it seems to be what people go for anyway when they can't just restore their legs. I know the option, or a lot of people would uh, would recommend probably getting them chromed, but there's nobody doing chrome in Ireland. I'd have to send them to the UK. It'll be much more expensive. Or buying new legs, and these will uh, also be expensive. So I think the cheaper option here is to get them powder coated. I'm working on a budget, so uh, I, I appreciate the recommendations, but uh, yeah, the money is really the determined factor in this restoration. The good news, however, is that this guy, the body here is done. Um, now this was the, the side that had all this uh, delamination and uh, uh, I'm pretty happy. I can't really see where the uh, I, I added my uh, laminate. So it's, it's, really, uh, it's really worked out well. I polished everything here, repainted these, uh, put everything back in. Uh, you saw that. Um, so this is not, uh, well, this is sanded and cleaned, de rusted, but I put some, some chrome paint and it's not chrome chrome. It's not like stainless chrome, but it just, uh, it'll provide some uh, protection. Uh, these I painted black because I have no um, ex other explanation than because um, everything here is painted white. It'll make it easier and cleaner and more visible to, uh, to uh, uh, access and, and just look at stuff uh, if I need to maintain this uh, or repair, or fix anything down the line. Um, I've been told, I wasn't aware of that, but some people don't like painting inside apparently because this causes problems of uh, condensation and all that kind of stuff. This won't be a problem here. I mean, this has been open already for, and I started painting, this was the first thing I did. Started painting it about three weeks ago already. I mean, this has been a four week restoration. And, um, and by the time I'm, I'm done with everything and put everything back together, it will probably have been two or three months just in the open, just drying out. Um, so condensation inside the cab won't be an issue. Uh, it can be an issue if you just paint it, put a fresh paint of coat and uh, put a fresh coat of paint and then close everything down like after a couple of days. Uh, maybe, maybe condensation might be a problem there, but um, not in this case. Um, this side, uh, same as the other side, and then here, I mean, I cleaned the, uh, the uh, coin door. Uh, this guy was uh, de-rusted as well, just wire wheel and everything. So all in all, I mean, pretty happy with the way it looks. Um, and I think, I think the body uh, restoration is done, the head is done, and I just need to look over there at the play field. So uh, I think we'll leave it at that for uh, this video, folks. I hope this was of some interest. Uh, this was a long one, um, not as complicated, but I, I had to uh, to make you know pieces of wood, uh, the the bottom here, uh, make a new um, um, this piece, whatever it's called. A um, lot of things. All in all, it was worth it, and uh, it looks fantastic now. So I can't I can't wait to. I'm going to bring this over to the uh, the blue shed over there. Um, where it's dry and it'll be safe, it won't get damaged. It'll give me plenty of room to work on the play field. But folks, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget Twitter, uh, Instagram and Facebook, all these places. This is Discord server, you wanna chat. I usually post early photos of all this stuff there as well. And uh, if you want to help the channel, there's a Patreon page as well. Folks, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.